Good morning everyone and welcome to the first week in the life vlog of my fifth and final year as an undergraduate student here at the University of St Andrews. If you're new, hi, I'm Thomas. And in this series of vlogs which go along with my monthly update vlogs, I'm going to be giving you a look into my fifth year at St Andrews University and I hope you're going to really enjoy it. It's going to give you an insight into what it's like to do a degree here, what it's like to be a master's year student here on an integrated master's and I hope you really enjoy it. I'm currently sitting in my flat. It's about eight o'clock. In fact, it's exactly eight o'clock in the morning on Monday the 12th of September. It is the first week of teaching for the academic year and I'm gonna bring you along with me for this week. Having spent the last sort of half hour-ish doing a little bit of admin stuff, such as my stream schedule for this week, I'm now going to head off to the physics building. I have a lecture at nine o'clock on general relativity, and then one after that on advanced data analysis. So I've got those this morning. That's the only in-person classes I have today on day one of the normal teaching weeks. We had a couple of intro lectures last week, but that's what I've got today. And then I'm gonna have some stuff this afternoon that needs done. And then I'll be getting on to preparing some streams for later this week. Let's go to physics. Okay, so a couple of hours on from the last time I spoke to you, I'm back in my flat. I've had my first two lectures of the first teaching week as fifth year. I had a lecture on general relativity, which is Einstein's big theory of how gravity works. After that, I had a module on advanced data analysis, a lecture for that. Just a sort of introductory module of this is what it is. So it sort of builds up the statistical tests that we'll use on this data, as well as introducing a little bit of these are what the assessments are going to be with the projects and the homeworks. It uses data from the Keck telescopes in Hawaii as well as the Hubble Space Telescope. So we'll be using real data and analysing that for our projects later in the semester. But we've got some homework stuff between now and then to really consolidate those skills. We can use any programming language for this. So a lot of people think we can use Python. I'm kind of tempted to use Fortran because it should be possible to do it. And I like Fortran. I, I know it better, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to get to work. I have... A couple things to do for some modules that I'm going to do over the next couple of hours and then I'm going to be preparing for tomorrow night's stream. I'm starting up this stream where we're looking at creating a gravitational simulator in Python. So I want to go over the maths that I need to explain to people on stream tomorrow and make sure my computer is going to work for that. Something you'll notice throughout these vlogs is that I never really sit still. I have so much stuff on my plate that has to be done. Like for the last, I don't know, half hour since making that cup of tea, I've been typing in like mailing list submissions for the Celtic Society mailing list that have been picked up at recent events through Freshers Week because we've only just finished Freshers Week. Um, so yeah, I've been doing that for the last half hour. So I've typed up like a load more names and email addresses to go onto the mailing list so that our secretary can send out our weekly email. So that's now been sorted. Now I still have a load of other stuff. Oh, that wasn't the only thing I did. I posted the first of my 365 challenge on Instagram and Vero. This is a challenge I'm doing where like you try and you post one photo every day for a year. The aim is to improve your photography, improve your editing for photography uh, stuff. So that's what I'm doing there, so I did that. I've still not done like any of the track my finances stuff that I would like to be doing on a weekly basis. I'm like a week behind on that because Freshers Week was last week. So I need to do that today. Things are pretty busy if you haven't noticed. So yeah, that that's going well. So I guess I should probably get to work on some of that. All right, so you join me now at about 20 past five. I've just had my dinner and yeah, also, yes, I know it's quite an early time to have dinner, but I had an early breakfast and then an early lunch, so early dinner with what was happening. Um, how much of my stuff have I got on today that's on the to-do list? Incredibly little. Um, I've still to go through some financial stuff. I've still to start editing the video that I recorded earlier that's going out on Wednesday. So that's going to be fun. Um, I still have to do some prep for the stream tomorrow night. It's a lot of stuff to do. Um, but 
it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I think I'm pushing back the university work till tomorrow. But the plan is that I'll get up and get working and I've got some time to kill between lectures. This evening, what I'm probably going to work on is that video. Get it into Premiere, get it started editing, and hope that my computer having half of its RAM is uh, not going to be too much of a pain. So yeah, that's, that's fun. But it'll be fine. I just need to actually get that stuff sorted. That's the plan anyway. I will see you guys probably tomorrow for day two of this week in the life. Hope you're enjoying it so far, and yeah, this is kind of what it's like for me at the minute because it's early in the semester and I have a load of stuff going on all at the same time. Good morning, it's Tuesday, and I'm off to the swimming pool because I'd like to try and be a bit fitter than I am. Let's go. Swimming's done, but before I head back, I just want to show you where exactly the swimming pool is in St Andrews because honestly, it's, well, it's right next to the sea. The pier is over there, and that's the swimming pool. Not bad views to come out to when you've done a morning swim. Now, I used to be a competitive swimmer like years ago. Uh, I stopped when I came to university because just the club here was just a bit too many people, to be honest. I was in a really small squad before. But yeah, I thought I'd try and get back into swimming. But let's go home. I need breakfast. Okay, so had breakfast, now on the way to physics, got a couple of lectures this morning. It's quite a nice day, there's actually not a cloud in the sky here in St Andrews this morning, which is, to be honest, a little surprising. Advanced data analysis and magnetofluids, then got a bit of a break, and then I'm off to, what's the last lecture? Oh, applications of quantum physics. I'm still getting used to these modules, we only just started them. Also, <laughs> welcome to physics with my partner. Okay, so you join me much later in the day, it is now 38 minutes past 3, I've had lunch, I have also just had a delivery of some new um, Vengeance Pro RT memory because my Trident Z memory that I had in my computer had started to become unstable, the, re the RAM was failing, I couldn't have more than one stick in the computer without it blue screening every two minutes. So I'd had to cut it down to one RAM stick. Given I'm getting back into streaming and just generally having 8 gigs of RAM on my computer was a bad time. I've upgraded to 32 gigs. I've been meaning to for a while but I can never justify it. But given the sticks were dying, it didn't make sense to replace them with a 16 gig kit. It made sense to spend the extra money and get the 32 gig kit which should last a lot longer. It's still DDR4 but I don't plan on upgrading this computer anytime soon because I only upgraded the CPU and motherboard in December last year. Like I got it for Christmas so... I'm, I'm not upgrading the main platform for a good number of years yet, so it made sense to get that and it's so pretty. This morning I had my three lectures and now we're heading towards four o'clock, so I was meant to have done a lot more work by now. I might do a bit of tutorial work, I have a video coming out tomorrow that needs edited, so that's probably my next priority. And I need to do a bit of, a bit of prep for tonight's stream just to make sure I'm happy with that and a bit of prep for tomorrow night's Scottish Winter Dance class, which I am teaching part of. Good morning and welcome to Wednesday. And to be honest, it's slightly barely morning. It's half past 11. I had a bit of a lion. Now, the reason for that is that I was very tired. Just with having everything getting back up and running with Freshers Week and then the first week of teaching, I've had a lot more going on than I've had going on for most of the summer. A lot more fresh air, a lot more walking, a lot more engaging my brain, and I was just really tired. So I decided to have a bit of a lie-in this morning and not do some work for a few hours. I've got a little bit of lectures to catch up on now, but that's not the end of the world. Last night I did the first live stream of my new streaming schedule. We're looking at simulating gravitation doing a gravitational simulation in Python. So it was kind of the start of that, looking at creating a sort of very simple numerical integrator and it seems to go quite well. If you want to follow along with that then check out my Twitch channel. The link is down below. While you're down there why don't you hit like and subscribe if you're enjoying the video so that you can support me to make more of this stuff. Today I need to figure out what lectures need to catch up on. I think I missed out on a general relativity lecture and a magnetofluids thing but I think the magnetofluids one was a tutorial 
So it's not the end of the world if I wasn't at that one. I'll have a look and see what's online. Um, fortunately, with recorded lectures, you can catch up. I've also got a bit of coursework stuff that needs started on a video that's meant to be going out today that still isn't actually finished, so that will probably happen this afternoon. And I have a stream at two o'clock, a study stream, so that's to look forward to as well. I should probably get cracking. All right, so I've spent a bit of time doing a little bit of work. I watched the general relativity lecture that I missed. I've had lunch and now, now I'm about to get started streaming with a Pomodoro study stream over on my Twitch channel. So that's gonna be the next few hours. I think that despite the fact that I do have a little bit of work that needs done, I'm probably going to work on today's video because it is not done yet and it needs to be. So that's what we're going to next. I'm gonna get started, do a four hour study stream, then I'll have dinner and then I'm teaching a Scottish country dance class tonight. Let's go. This is what my back end looks like on Twitch. I use OBS with the stream elements. That's what I use anyway. So yeah, that that's that's what we do. That that's that's what we use for this. The vlog has seen Twitch. Also the battery of this camera is about to die. All right, so it's now about 20 past seven and I'm heading out to the Celtic Society Technique class, which I am teaching part of this evening along with my partner. Um, we are starting at half past seven, so I have about 10 minutes to get over there, which means I'm taking my bike. I plan to walk, but it's like a quarter of an hour walk and I don't have that long. So I will grab my bike. I will see you guys later. Assuming people are okay with it, there may be a clip here, but who knows? It's Thursday and yeah, I know I've not done very much. You've just seen a montage of me pottering around town doing a few things. I've had three, no, two lectures and a tutorial this morning and it's been going okay. We had a lecture in advanced data analysis, slept in, it was a little bit late, but it was just in the recap, so that's all good. A uh, tutorial in magnetofluids and space plasmas, which was interesting. Um, we spent quite a lot of time on one of the tutorial questions that I actually managed to answer okay but I now have a better understanding of one of the ones I wasn't so clear on. Like I got the right mathematical answer, but I couldn't really explain why. So now I understand why. It was about um, pressure between a prominence, like a solar flare type thing, um, and directly outside it, still with in its sort of magnetic loop. Um, and there is equal pressure there, but I wasn't sure why. Now I understand that it's because there is, um, because the, the prominence is stable, the pressure has to be equal or approximately equal, otherwise there'd be way more like fluid flows. So I now understand that. I had a gap where I did a little bit of work and then had a lecture on applications of quantum physics, which took oh so long to not really be told very much. We were so far behind on the slides because I don't know, the lecture just seemed to take a while to get through things. Um now I'm gonna take out this camera, put it on my desk stand thing um, and do a study stream. So uh, during the stream I think I'm going to have a look at some stuff for my master's project and potentially start some things for advanced data analysis if I have time. That's the aim. I'm already late for the stream though so I'm going to get going. Stream finished. It's now time to go and do some dishes, make dinner and then I'm heading out to dance class in Dundee. That is the plan for this evening. Uh, after that, I'm gonna to go to Astrosoc, which is the university's astronomical society. They're secretly a hot chocolate society, masquerading as an astronomical society, but don't tell the freshers, not until they paid membership. I'll be fine. <laughs> So that's us back from the dance class at Astrosoc. It was, I would say, yeah, it was dark. It was a good night. And as always, got the hot chocolate having paid membership for Astrosoc. Today's been relatively productive. I feel like I've made good progress on the project idea. I got a response back from one of the guys that asked about some of the magnetohydrodynamic stuff. And he basically just said, yeah, what you're describing is called non-ideal MHD. It's gonna make your simulations horrific to run. This probably isn't practical for a master's project. 
So that's fine. That was just the thing in the tail bit. Everything else could be interesting and is probably worth having a look at. But I'm going to bed. Bye. Good afternoon. It's Friday. Thank you for sticking with me towards the end of the week. I realise it's the afternoon. I've not actually done anything this morning. I woke up with a pretty sore back, so I decided I was going to go back to sleep. Morning has not been productive at all. And I'm probably not going to vlog too much of the rest of this week and the weekend. I'm going to set up the camera while I do a bit of work and then that'll be it. This weekend all I'm really doing is some stuff for the YouTube channel and such and teaching the first class of the Celtic Society's general Scottish Country Dance class. There's been a lot of people who are brand new to that so I don't really want to film anything there. So yeah, I'm going to cut the vlog off around now. Thank you everyone for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that really good stuff. This is going to be a monthly series. I'm going to do a vlog like this a week in the life every month for the rest of my master's year, as well as my monthly update vlogs. So please do subscribe for that and hit the bell icon so you get notified for future videos. In the meantime, though, there'll be some videos appear on the screen paid out by YouTube if you want to watch something else. And thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you in my next video and in my next update vlog at the start of October. See ya!